The first of our five points will be to end the abuse of the health and care visa. We will stop overseas care workers from bringing family dependents, and we will require care firms in England to be regulated by the Care Quality Commission in order for them to sponsor visas. Approximately 120,000 dependents accompanied 100,000 care workers and senior care workers in the year ending September 2023. Only 25 per cent of dependents are estimated to be in work, meaning a significant number are drawing on public services rather than helping to grow the economy. Yeah. We recognise we recognise that foreign workers do great work in our NHS and health sector. But it is also important that migrants make a big enough financial contribution. Therefore, we will increase annual immigration health surcharge this year by 66%, from £624 to £1,035, to raise, on average, around £1.3 billion for the health services of this country every year. Second, we will stop immigration undercutting the salary of British workers. We will increase the skilled worker earnings threshold by a third to 38,700 from next spring, in line with the median full term wage for those kinds of jobs. Those coming on health and social care visa routes will be exempt so we can continue to bring in the healthcare workers on which our care sector and NHS rely. Thirdly, we will scrap cut price shortage labour from overseas by ending the 20% going rate salary discount for shortage yeah. occupations and reforming the shortage occupation list. I have asked the Migration Advisory Committee to review the occupations on this list because of our new higher skilled worker salary threshold. And we will create a new immigration salary list with a reduced number of uh, occupations. People only bring dependents who they can support financially. Yeah. By raising the minimum income for family visas to the same threshold as the minimum salary threshold for skilled workers, which is 38,700. Yeah, yeah. The minimum income requirement of 18,600 has not been increased since 2012. Madam Deputy Speaker, this package of measures will take place from next spring. Finally, having already banned overseas master's students from bringing family members to the UK, I have asked the Migration Advisory Committee to review the graduate route to prevent abuse, to protect the integrity and quality of the UK's outstanding higher education sector. It needs to work in the best interests of the UK, supporting the pathway into high quality jobs for the global talent pool, but reducing opportunities for abuse. 